Hi, I'm Kathleen, and if you know me, you know that I like to customize my clothing with paint, ink, thread. It's kind of what we do here. So today, let's do what we do best and head to the thrift store and find some cool leather goods to paint upon. Let's go. Oh, but first, there is a twist to this video. I will also be painting on an Italian leather designer bag that a company sent me. The stakes are high but my body is ready. And yes, the rumors are true. There will be a giveaway at the end of this video, so stick around and off we go. For real this time, let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Let's take a quick tour around this here thrift shop and find some items that would be suitable for painting customization. We'll start with the purses. Leather or faux leather bags are pretty easy to come by at the thrift store and they are prime picking if you want an easy starting point for customization. I like structural bags with flat sides because they're just easier to paint on. Also, I would opt for a smooth surface and avoid like a pebbled leather, unless you like a challenge. And next, if you're feeling really ambitious, you might try a leather or faux leather jacket. Although I wouldn't go for this on my first try since it can be expensive and honestly, they're pretty cool as is and it would be a shame to ruin one. If you wanna start small, how about a leather belt? This could be great for beginners because you can start with a super simple pattern and it can make such a fun accessory. And finally, shoes. Adding some simple color or a pattern to a classic black leather shoe is a great way to add a little pizzazz to your life. A sprinkle of spunk, if you will. So next time you're at the thrift store, take a look around, see what you can find. You might be surprised. I got the vest. I got the vest. What? I got the vest. <laughs> Canadian Tuxedo 2.0 if I do say so myself. And I also picked up this very toot little black crossbody bag. Love the shape, feels very fresh, feels very new. And this will be painted upon, but later. We'll talk about this later. For now, let's talk about two items that I already have that I am dying to paint upon. One is more beginner friendly. These are black that was my wrist. Birkenstocks that I picked up at the thrift store back in October, as well as this gorgissimo green leather bag from Teddy Blake. And yes, I did add my little clown friend that I got in Japan. The shoes will be a very beginner friendly design that if you don't consider yourself an artist, you would feel confident tackling yourself. And for the bag, we're going hard mode. You could even say sicko mode because why make things easy when you could make them overly complicated and fun? I have two ideas for what I wanna paint on this green bag. So let's do some sketching and I can send it out into the ether, into the internet on Instagram and on my community page to get your opinions. And while we wait for opinions, we can do the shoes. So if there's one thing about me, it's that I like mythical creatures. And when I was in Japan, I found this vintage manticore t-shirt and I simply have not been able to stop thinking about it since. Specifically the goofy kind of marginalia style of it all. Slightly cursed, kind of cute. So my first idea is to just slap a manticore on there. A sassy, stingy boy. If you don't know what a manticore is, it's a fake thing that has the face of a human and body of a lion and tail of a porcupine or scorpion, but the jury's out on that one. I go for scorpion usually because I'm a Scorpio. And keeping with the mythological theme, my other option is some broken jars or amphoras that you might find in a Greek temple filled with oil and I don't know, oracle tears. So let's share these both on Instagram and YouTube and get your thoughts and feelings about them. We have a visitor. 
always laying in the most precarious location, but I guess this works as well as anything. Here is my little pole. We'll see what y'all think. So far, Manticore is winning. Excuse me. And if you'd like to participate in polls like this in the future, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated. Also, I'm posting this on my community page on YouTube, like I mentioned. So if you'd like to participate that way, you can always subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And it looks like it's a little more even over there. Cracked pots, manticores, the tension is rising. The drama is being dr dramatized. Okay, so with these shoes, I don't wanna do anything too crazy, but I do want it to be crazy cool. You know what I mean? So here's how we're gonna achieve that. I'm thinking some sort of wavy brown pattern so that we end up with a really cool brown and black color palette, which is one of my personal favorites. And I'm thinking of going for something simple, but kind of trendy on these. So like perhaps a checkerboard. Maybe some sort of yin yang type situation. What do you think about that? <laughs> so I guess it means I need to mix up some brown paint and get started. And I guess Kashi is just gonna watch from the shadows of my closet. Okay. All right, first things first, we need a canvas. In this case, black leather Burks that I snagged for $12. Whatever you start with, make sure it's clean of dirt and debris. So I'm just using a damp cloth to wipe mine down. Next, we need the color, baby. I've got my tried and true FX acrylic, which is basically just flexible paint that you can use on fabric or leather or cosplay, whatever. You can also use any old acrylic paint with some medium mixed in. And you could even splurge and get something to seal your work with when you're done, but I'm not too worried about it. To keep this extra beginner friendly, we're not even gonna freehand it. That's right, grab a round object, in my case, some washi tape, and start tracing it with a colored pencil. Repeat this a few times and you've got yourself a buttercup, buttercup. Beautiful thing about flowers is they don't need to be perfect, so don't sweat it. They're perfect just the way they are. Okay, next I'm mixing some cool toned brown to act as my base. Painting this was so satisfying because the paint has this nice matte finish since the leather is unfinished and it soaks it up a little bit. Okay, don't I kind of look like the lo-fi girl here? Her, from YouTube, you know? Except like if the lo-fi girl had entered her crafting in the woods with the Baba Yaga era. I support it, 100%. really important question for you. Those look like teeth. I'm not crazy, right? These look like teeth. Nasty, nasty teeth. Psych, they're corn snacks. Oh, okay, it's getting a bit later, as you can see by the twilight looming outside my window. So I thought that we could see how things are going on Instagram and get at least the base of our purse drawing painting. Painted. Maybe we can do the whole thing. I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. It's Manticore with a bullet. Of course y'all chose the more cursed and more difficult to draw option. Respect, challenge accepted. This is why we're friends. That was my top pick too. Although I am a little daunted. Still not totally sure how I'm gonna transfer this sketch onto the bag or if I'm just gonna have to freehand it, which is quite frightening if I'm honest. But speaking of, let me introduce you to our victim. I mean bag. So here's the scoop. When luxury Italian handbag creator Teddy Blake reached out to me and said, Hey kid, we like the cut of your jib, which I thought was very flattering. Can we send you a bag? I said, can I paint on it? And they said, okay, bet. And what a beautiful specimen of a bag to paint upon. So this is the Bella Vitello 12 inch. And I picked this style specifically because it has awesome structure and it has really large planes for me to paint on and a really smooth leather texture. So I don't have to worry about my paintbrush skipping or worrying about cracking or anything during the painting process. Ooh, shiny. Like I mentioned, they're made in Italy using highest quality materials. And I know that this bag's gonna look better than I do in 30 years. She's gonna age like a fine wine, I just know it. If you've been thinking about investing in a forever piece but didn't wanna pay the designer markup, you can check out Teddy Blake. I have the link down in my description and a little discount for you if you wanna use my link, no pressure. And with that, let's get to painting.
moment of truth. I've got my whole setup. I've got my image transferred onto the bag. I've got my paint, a nice mac and cheese. I've got my reference sketch. Now I just have to do it. Can you tell I'm procrastinating? I'm scared, okay? I'll admit it. So I gotta trust in these dirty little paws of mine to channel the paint gods. Sorry, thrift gods. Let me summon all of my denim energy and let's do this. Oh, so buttery. Wow, wow. Don't look, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, don't look. The first coat looks like crap. But doesn't it always? You know what I mean? <laughs> Good morning. How are we? Did we sleep well? Did we rest our bones? Hmm? Let me give you a quick update. So here, this isn't a good way to show you. We've got a pretty good first base or first layer down for our manticore friend. So today we'll work on evening out the yellow, adding in some orange and then the details on the face. And we're gonna be pretty good to go. And then the shoes, how cute are these little son's guns? Adorable. So we'll just add the little center of the flowers and our dream garden gnome shoes will be complete. Love them. But first, let's tidy up this workspace. It is stressing me out. This is looking pretty good. We've got all of the major details in here. Now I just need to go in and do like the eyeball. And if you've ever drawn eyeballs before, I'm guessing you have. It's kind of a moment of truth because once you place those pupils, it can look good or it can look interesting. I think I'll probably do it with colored pencil first, really lightly just to nail it down and then maybe even finish it with colored pencil or Posca markers. Since we already have a base of acrylic, it's basically just a plastic base now, I could use Posca or colored pencil on it and it should work just fine. I assume. Am I ever gonna change out of my PJs? Perfect. Perfect. Guys, yeah, honestly, I'm killing this. High risk, high reward. Dude, look at that blue eyeshadow. There we go. She's pretty.
What'd you think? Not gonna lie, when I put down those first couple coats of paint and it was real patchy, I was sweating through my skivvies. But in true trust the process fashion, she came out beautifully. I think it really came into its own once I started adding the Posca details at the end. And I really like this little blue star that I booped over in the corner just to bring in a little more blue to the design. Also, I know that this was a success because when I took this on its maiden voyage, it was my clown friend. There we go. To the craft store, the Gen Z cashier told me that they liked my purse. And I said, thanks, I made it. And then I ran away like a raccoon. There's a hole in my pit. How's this one look? I'm watching you. And we can't forget that there was a whole other DIY in this video, and I am so pleased about how easy this was. Don't you love it when that happens? So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, these were the easy mode. The bag was definitely the hard mode. But I think anyone at any skill level could tackle something like this. And the brown and blue color palette is so fresh and cute. So speaking of tackling these projects at any skill level, let's talk about the giveaway. Did you forget there was a giveaway? I was thinking I could give away something that I made, but how much more special would it be if I could give you the tools to create it yourself? I present to you the Kathleen Illustrated Leather Painting Kit 1.0. One lucky winner is going to win a kit that includes the crossbody bag that I found at the thrift store when we went at the beginning of the video, a couple of paint brushes, and all of the primary colors in black and white in leather paint. So you can try your hand at a new craft this holiday season, or maybe there's a loved one in your life that you think would really enjoy this. You could enter the giveaway and then give this as a gift. So to enter the giveaway, this is what I'm gonna need from you. Listen carefully, okay? One, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and go click that button if you haven't had the chance to yet. I'll wait. It's just down there. Okay, number two, you need to leave a comment down below that includes some way to get in contact with you. This is very important, whether it's your Instagram handle or your email address or your Twitter at. That way I'll be able to get a hold of you in one week's time when I choose a winner. And after that, I'll get it shipped out ASAP. So it won't get there in time for Christmas, but it'll definitely still be the holiday season. Speaking of the holiday season, I am so excited for next week's video. It is gonna be a holiday jubilee, one might say. We're gonna go thrifting. We're gonna open presents. We're gonna have frolic in the snow, probably. It's just gonna be a cozy, jolly time. So I hope you will come back next week. If you'd like to keep up with me until then, you can follow me on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated. Thanks again, Teddy Blake, for providing me with the beautiful purse, AKA painting canvas that I used during this video. And again, if you wanna check them out, the link is in my description. Okay, with that, I'll get out of here. I hope you have a great week. Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. And if not, stay cozy out there. Okay, love you. Bye.